uh, my name's Mitch, and um, through in NATO, we're celebrating we're doing the bush tucker talk down here, celebrating Aboriginal people and Torres Strait Islander culture. So um, what we're doing today is going to walk through the Kemeragle people who used to live here. I'll watch out for the <laughs> um, We're going to walk through the, the bush and talk about a bit of the bush tucking that Kemeragle people would have used and different sorts of things like that that we used for food. Not only that, but to make tools and baskets and stuff like that. Alright, over here... Uh, anyone know what this one's called? You seen this around the zoo? Uh, not about, well it's called a lily pilly. We have two types of lily here. This one produces a red fruit. And this one, this one's still fruiting at the moment. It's got a white fruit on it. And both are edible, so you can pass this around and have a look. This one's not as nice as this one. Have you seen these ones with red on them before? Yeah. It's a nice little red fruit. Yeah, it's like, I like to call it like a mini, mini apple. They're nice and crunchy, nice and refreshing. But this one doesn't have any at the moment. A couple of weeks ago it did, but not at the moment, but they're real nice to eat. And these days what they do is um, make bush jams out of them. You might have seen them before, so you can buy these and uh, make it into jam. So what we have over here is the... Oh, actually, I'll let you guess. I'll hand these leaves around. So just rip one of these off, crush it up, and pass it around. So we'll get... Everyone rip a leaf off. Can you rip it up, yeah? Yeah, rip it up and then have a nice smell. Crush it up and have a smell. Oh, Tell me what your it smells like. Oh, lime. Oh, lime. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, lemon. Yeah. What's the smell like? Starburst. Starburst. Yeah. yeah. This is what they make starburst out of now. <laughs> <laughs> what this is, it's um, so it's got, it's sort of like lemon. It's called lemon myrtle. That's what's the actual name. Oh. And what do you think they would have done with this, the Camaragal people? Any ideas? <laughs> well, that's the right idea. They would have flavoured things from it. So what could they flavour? Drink. Drinks and also food. 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 So once they know the mullet were coming in through the calendar, do remember the calendar? Yeah, let me So they'd go down, that's it, they'd go down. And what they would have done was wrapped it up in they didn't have foil, so have you seen this before? Paper tree. Paper bark, off the paper bark tree. Have you seen that before? Yeah. So they'd peel big pieces of this off. And what they would have done was laid it down, put the fish in. Wrapped it up, tied it up, but they would have put some of this in it and this would have flavoured it up real nice. So what they would have done, after they got the fire done and the coals, they would have uh, put the fish, after it's all prepared, they would have wet it and chucked it on the fire. Why do you reckon they wet it for? They do. So they they would have burned it completely. Yep, and it's another, it's a way to indicate that the food was ready. So, that, so they didn't have no timers either. So that's a way. <laughs> See that little plant over there in the bush? Yep. yep. That's called a Dianella. Or it's also known as the snake whistle, and they say it draws the snakes because if you pull one out, you can get it to whistle. And here I have an example. Uh -huh. Aha, yeah. Watch the video. Oh, I wish it was sweet. Hear the whistle? Yeah. Very loud. Okay, the, the longer the um, the longer the um, the louder the noise. So what we're going to do, do you want to have a go? Yeah. Have a yeah, turn, okay. try and make one? Well, I'll try and pull one out to show you how, the, how it's done. you sort of got to get it in the middle. So I'll hand them out and then you sort of pull it out. If they've got a, a tear down here, it's not going to work. So you got to, you might have to have a few goes, but I'll hand them out. And here, here's my one here. So you'll sort of see, see how it's got the hollow on the end? Yeah. So all you got to do is blow on that. Yeah. So let's see if you can get the loudest whistle, eh? All right, so does anyone get the whistles going? <laughs> Got two. Did you guys get it? <laughs> Come on, guys. That's a good one. That's pretty loud. So long leaf. They make the loudest noise. It's good whistles. All right. This is called a guy mere lily, and this can be eaten also. So you can eat the top parts. It's real fleshy. Or you can eat this part. Can, and also, but that, that can be eaten raw. This one, the stem can get chopped up. It can be roasted, and I heard it tastes like potatoes. I haven't tried it yet, but I heard it tastes like potatoes. And also, again, down the bottom, they grow big leaves like this. So what, what, what can the leaves be used for? Wrapping. Yeah, that's it. So you just, these ones, you put them in the shadow, you can actually spread it, tear it apart, and pull it down, and it makes it real stringy. And you can make um, sort of baskets and stuff like that. It makes crystal weaving. And also with this one, the roots can also be eaten. Okay? So, 